Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Grand Dizzy here. I'm back at it again. And uh, I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, today is a ver uh, very beautiful day, as you guys can look at the skies. And, uh, and as I promised, guys, today I'm going to be doing the review of this uh, Denali sun bomb you guys know exactly what it is and if you don't know just watch this video right here where i have all the mods that i have on this uh, beast i call it the beast um yeah go ahead and i uh, watch this video you're gonna have all that information that i uh, i provided for you guys i would say about uh three weeks ago when i was making this video regarding to all the mods that i have on this beast but again this still looks the same um i haven't changed anything like i told you guys at this point i don't see any kind of mods that i want to put on this bike so for now it's gonna remain the same in the meantime i'm in the works of getting me a a, a new can -Am, uh you know trike <laughs> whatever you want to call it i know you guys have seen it heard it and uh yeah i want to quiet i saw one yesterday i went to granger and one of the associate had one over there it looks so gorgeous it's the black one and um i'm, I'm working on that I, actually i had plans of going for a test ride uh on that today but unfortunately i had a lot of stuff going on so i wasn't able to do so so I promise you guys, as I was doing the, the mods that I have on this bike, when I got to this Denali Sound Bomb, um, I told you guys this is my second unit, and actually this is the first one. The second one that I have, it's on there. One piece is right here under the, uh, the seat. I uh, installed it there. Um, I have the keys, actually, since I'm doing this. I love you guys, man. I love you guys. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, uh, open it so you guys can see how it look like since I'm already doing it, you know. Uh, I give you guys my word. I'll deliver. So I guess um, I'm going to deliver. As you guys know or may not know, this is a keyless bike. All that I got to use is my key fob here, okay. So... Um, the only time you're gonna use, you're gonna need your key, is to you know pretty much lock it. It, it came with a automatic lock that you can lock and secure your bike. I know extra guy, some other guys may use some other you know uh, add-ons, but this, yeah, you you, you know you, you, you turn the wheel and then you lock it right here. That's the only time you're gonna need a key, and whenever you wanna get access to anything and need here. So. Um, we're going to get to that. Let me just leave this here. But basically, guys, I told you this was my first unit. Let me open it up. Uh, as far as the unboxing, guys, pretty much it's just a plain box with a little stuff here and there. I have the rest of the stuff in the house. I don't have it here at the moment. But this, guys, is this, uh, the Denali Sound Bomb Compact. They have two versions of these. They have the Compact... And they have the um, the split. The split is what I have on right now, and I, I'll show you guys. Okay, I, I'll show you how the split, you know, um, look like. But this was my first unit. Look at how bulky it, it look. It's it's extremely big, right? It's extremely big. This doesn't work anymore. I believe the compressor works, but the horn doesn't work anymore. And I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why, because I told you guys that I'm gonna do a separate review. And this is the review, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I have this second unit here. So, look at the size of this um, unit. It's extremely big. And initially, I just, I, I love this. I want, I, I'm a very minimalist guy. That's number one. Number two, I love the fact that uh, it came in one unit. I knew they have a split, but I didn't want to buy the split for whatever reason. I don't know. I should have in the first place, but I'm glad I learned so I can share with you guys so you don't make the same mistake that I made in the first place. So I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. It was nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the unit. It was my fault entirely, okay? So after I bought it, this bike, the battery is right here underneath, um, right there, right down there, where the radiator is, the guard is, it's right underneath there. 
And I told you guys, anytime you pop all these doing any kind of service or mods, there's little pains that come losing and you gotta, you know, you gotta guys, uh, buy something to replace it. But the battery is over there and there is a cable that came with it. Oh, I think you have to buy it separately uh, with a relay and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanna do, you know, the review, the reason why I don't have this on there. And then, you know, maybe we can talk about that later as, you know, I ride. It's kind of getting late, so I don't wanna hold you guys. But basically what happened was um, I bought it, I did all the wiring and pretty much did everything on my own. And I was stuck with where I was supposed to install this or mount it. Guys, I went around this entire bike and I could not find a place. I mean, at least to my knowledge, I could not find a place where I could mount this safe. Um, if, if you look at here, there's nothing to mount it this would have been a perfect spot and that is where i have the split which i'll tell you guys later but this could have been a, a perfect spot to mount it but then there is nothing to hold on to it it, it was just uh it was just a mess and i was going back and forth so what i found out is uh, oh my god this right here it's a perfect spot it's uh it got some room over there so i'm like yeah i can mount this on there huh so i went ahead and mounted which was hell guys i have to uh, use a zip tag and like this is how it used to look like right here you guys see i hope you can see it on the camera Th that's exactly how okay actually it's uh, upside down right there that's exactly how it used to look like and i mounted right here with a zip tag and everything so it worked and it was working but then something happened one day i was going to work and the traffic light changed suddenly so i have to stop i have to you know pump the brakes so i pumped the brake and all that i hear was a loud noise coming from underneath here like like I said, what the hell is going on? I thought the wheel was coming off. If it wasn't this wheel, you see the size of this wheel? I love it, man. It's too big. Um, I thought it was coming off. Or the mud flap or something was coming off. So right out, I stopped at a traffic light. I'm looking around and I was checking the wheels, the brakes, you know, the Brembo brakes. I was, I'm like, what, what happened? I could not see anything. So I just keep on riding, I went to work. And then it happened again. Some, I think about a week or two later, it happened again. I say, oh my God, what is going on with this bike? Like anytime I hit the brakes, it goes like So one day I was just doing a, a basic inspection on the bike, which I do from time to time, like my own little PM service that I do. And I get here where I have my blue thin line sticker. Right here, it has a big hole. And this is how it, it looked like. And the hole was right, it, it is, it's still there, but I have it covered. But it's a big hole right here. So I said, hold on. What is going, what, what happened? And as soon as I saw that, I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got underneath the bike, and right here, you got. I hope you guys can see it on the camera, right here. Hopefully, if, if not, I'll see if I can zoom it in so you guys can see it. I'm sweating, it's hot, man. Um, so, this was rubbing the mud flap and the tie. Now, you guys, I don't know if I told you, when I bought this bike, it came with a lifetime warranty on the tie, so I can go and change it anytime, but, I have to hit a certain miles in order for me to qualify. So one day I took the bike to the dealership for something. There was nothing wrong with the bike. It was, um, I think the clutch was a little loose. So, and I, I tried to adjust it here and it wasn't, it was still loose. So I took it to them to see if they can do it for me because they don't want me to touch the bike even with the exhaust. They say if I try to do my own modification on the exhaust, I'll avoid the warranty. So if you do have one, be careful. Exactly, especially if you have a warranty on there, check with your dealership before you can even do anything on that. Because I asked them what I can and cannot do. So pretty much everything that I've done on the bike, I still, 
I'm still covered with my warranty. So just check with your, you know, your dealer and, and, and see. But anyway, when I took the bike to the dealership, they check the, um, the, tight, uh, the, the thread depth on the ties. I hope you guys know what, what I'm talking about. These little grooves, it needs to be on a certain uh, reading in order for me to qualify. But this one is okay. Now that one, it's extremely low and the dealer could not find it like, they were like, how in the world? Like we've never seen this thing before. This thread depth is extremely lower than the, the, the rail tie. And if you guys can see, I hope the camera will do justice. Look at, look at how deep it is. And if you come here, look, look at this, look at it. So, and they asked me what, what this was. And I told them, they were like, yo, it's, it's probably the reason why, you know, it's low is because this was rubbing it, you know, both back and forth. It was rubbing anytime I hit the brakes and then the forks, it compresses. So it compressed and then it will put pressure and it was rubbing. That was what was making noise. So they said, you need to take this fan off as soon as possible, man and you do not qualify for the warranty because the, the number of miles that you have on the bike is, is too early. So you don't, you don't qualify for the, uh, the warranty. I'm like, oh my God. So now I have to go buy a new one. I think it's about $400, mount and balance and everything, but it's okay for now. So eventually I was riding this bike and I was only using the rail um, brakes, not the front one because anytime I hit the front brakes, it compresses the um, the uh, the shocks, and then it will start rubbing. So eventually, this died. One one day, I was riding and somebody cut in front of me, and I was ready to um, hit the horn. As soon as I hit it, it, it went like ah! I said, "Oh God, it's dead." So about uh, two weeks later, I took it off and I put back the, um, the OEM or the original part. It's right here, it's sitting right here behind the, uh, the pill shape, um, the headlight. It's right there somewhere. So I, I installed, reinstalled the, um, the, uh, the original one and I forget about you know this whole thing, but I really needed it because I, I, I strongly suggest that everybody, every biker, should get this even if it's not this get something else okay they have so many brands and some of them are really big like um you know <laughs> like the ones on the trucks but you guys know your boy is minimalist you know i gotta i gotta look slick man and a lot of people are like where the hell is it at um so i decided to um go buy the um the split and you guys if i tell you the split is much better again the fact that this didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you. It might be a, a you might have a different bike, but if you have a, the same bike and you wanna use this, let me know down in the comment below where you mount it and if it works for you, because mine did not work. It didn't it didn't last about six months or you know whenever, and um you know it stopped working because of uh, the issue that I have. It was rubbing the tie and the mud flap, so. I retired it, I bought a split. The split is basically these two, but it's separated. So let me put this back in the box. Um, yeah, I had contacted Denali to see if there's any way they can do something. They were like, well, there's nothing we can do, but the only thing we can do is to give you a 10% of your next purchase. I'm like, no, whatever. So I, it's not their fault. So what I did is um, I went to Amazon and then I purchased it. And this time I bought a split. So this is the one piece. This is the um, the horn itself. I kind of zip tied it over here. Like you can't even see. If I don't tell you where it's at, you can't even tell. And it came with like a, a tube, a rubber tube that I ran it all the way here, all the way down there. And I'm gonna open this so you guys can see exactly what is going on here. Boom, this is the compressor. This is exactly, uh, I put the compressor and I got plenty of room, you know, you can put your um, registration or, you know, some other documents, you know, you can even put it underneath here on the seat. This is the original seat. Most people have issues with it, 
guys, I have zero issue. I mean, I've been on this bike for hours and hours, and I do not feel any fatigue. So, um, yep, but I mounted here, and I have the other piece, it's over there. I ran the other uh, tube, it went all the way here, and I need a tank all the way here, and then get it connected right over there, and I have a peace of mind. So now I don't have to worry about anything scratching or, you know, that my only concern is maybe the heat from the engine might bother it, maybe over time, but so far, I was gonna put some kind of um, uh, some material over there, but I mean, you ride in and you have air flowing through. I don't think it's ever gonna be any problem with me. You know, I haven't had any issue. I've installed this on the bike for I say maybe two months now, and I have zero issue. I've yet to see any uh, issue with it. You know, so this is my Denali Sound Bomb. Um, again, you guys, there's nothing wrong with the dealer, um, the manufacturer. It was my fault, and I thought uh, it was gonna work, but it never worked for me. So I want to share this with you, so you don't do the same. Uh, other Harleys and other bikes have the uh, the big one. They have so many kinds, so many types on online. But this is what I would recommend for you guys. Uh, I'm not being paid by Denali. Uh, pretty much anything on this bike, I just created an Amazon link. I'll leave it uh, down below, but I'm not being paid by them to say this. I just love the product, you know. It works for me, and I think every biker should have this. I don't like using this because it scares people. Like yesterday, as I was coming back from Granger, I saw this guy on his Harley. I wanted to do this video yesterday, but uh, I came back late. As you guys can see, the times are changing, so it's getting darker now. Um, but. I saw this guy on the bike and I was trying to, you know, tap a little horn and, you know, just say hello to him. He jumped and he was looking for a truck. So he saw me, he's like, man, he cussed at me. He was like, you scared me, man. I said, sorry, dude. Um, and I did not mean to scare him, you know, because I told you guys that I don't like using this. Um, I only use it uh, in the time of emergencies because Anytime you use it, you, 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 you're you gonna scare somebody, man. You're gonna scare someone. So, um, I don't like using it, but it's extremely loud. It's extremely loud. Let me let me see if we got, if I can hit it one, just one. There's nobody here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna disturb my neighbors. But anything for you guys, man. Anything for you guys. We're gonna take a little ride, and I'm gonna end this video, but trust me, you need this on your bike. So here we go. It's just loud, man. One more time. It's just loud, man. Anytime I hit it, everyone is looking for, um, they're looking for a truck. So, like I said, guys, this is something that you need. I promise you, man, if you're a biker, you need this, you need this. It, it, it can save your life. Trust me, you have no clue how many times this has saved my life. Like, you know, but at the same time, if I use it on in like a, on an innocent person, they just, you know, um, they get scared and I, I don't wanna be scaring anybody, you know? Um, so, yeah, let's head on out there. I'm heading to at and um, to grab my phones. I have a new, uh, this is an iPhone 12, and I think it's time my battery is, uh, I think my, the battery is extremely weak, so turn this on. I told you guys about this vase that I have here, the high vase, the reflectors. I hope you guys can see in the video, it's extremely bright. Um, if it gets darker while I'm riding, you guys, you know, may be able to see it, but, um, yeah, I'll leave I'll leave the um, the link in the down, uh, in the comment down below as well for you guys, okay? So you can uh, purchase it. Um, so yeah, I don't like using it because I, I, I scare people, man, and people get angry. You know, I only use it when I need to use it. You know, on somebody stupid who's not paying attention and 
they can probably hurt me or it can kill me or somebody else. So um, that's the only time I use it, you know, just to make sure that they can see me or I can be seen. So I have about um, 30 minutes to get to um, AT&T so that uh, they can take care of me. They close at eight o'clock. And I've never used this uh, Insta360 uh, low light, actually both of them. I've, I've done a trial, you know, video, but I haven't used it, you know, in low light before. So I guess it's not as dark as it's supposed to be, but at least, you know, it's kind of dark enough. So um, I forgot to, you know, take off my strap. But uh, it's not dark enough, but at least, you know, it's a little dark where, you know, um, I guess I'll use this as a test with a low light. But so far, I'm loving it, both system. I have another one at home, you know, so, um, yeah, that Denali sound bomb split is the deal right now. I promise you guys, man, it's the deal. It's so loud. Anytime I use it, people turn their heads. Like one time, this lady, I don't know what the heck she was doing. She was dressing and doing the makeup and eating at the same time. I say, oh my goodness. And she was doing a running to me until I use it. And even when I use it on her, she almost lost control of her car. Looking out for truck and all that. And then she saw me and she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You could have killed me, stupid. Um, but yeah, I believe if you don't want to get this one. And Denali has a... Um, I think they have a, uh, yeah, it's it's three, it's three versions, guys. They are the compact, which is this one, it's one. And the split is a, uh, another one. And they have mini, Denali Sound Bomb Mini. I'm gonna leave the comment down in the down description for you guys, okay? All of them, so whichever one um, you feel like, you know, using or buying, Go ahead, either one of them, you're not gonna be able to go wrong with it, okay? Now, the only reason why I bought this big one is because of my late brother. Shout out to Jeff, man. I know you're looking out for your little brother. Oh, well, actually, your big brother in heaven. He's my little brother, so. Yeah, I lost him about six, seven years ago. I don't even wanna talk about that, but um, he, um, he told me one day um, I was gonna go buy something and I was trying to cheap out. And he was like, listen, brother, if you wanna go, you've gotta go all the way. <laughs> I thought that was the best you know, advice my little brother gave me. He said, it doesn't matter, just go all the way, man. Life is too short. He kept telling me life is too short and he's the one that we lost. So sad. But he's like, if you wanna go, go all the way. Don't cheap out, man. No, no half-ass. <laughs> no half-ass, man. So I say, if I'm gonna buy this um, horn, I'm just gonna, you know, go all the way. That's the reason why. And and ever since, anything I wanna buy in life, guys, I go all the way because of what he said. I go all the way. I don't care. I don't care how expensive it is, I go all the way. So that is the reason why, but you can use the, uh, the mini. It's, uh, I think they have uh, the decibel, you know, rates and all that. Like you guys know, like I, whenever I do a review or I do anything, I don't go by what all these specifications and numbers and all, no. If I buy it and it works for me, that's it. I don't care because most of the time, the stuff that uh, the manufacturer put it on the, um, you know, as far as their numbers and all that, nine out of t nine out of ten, they're not even accurate. You know, so I really don't go by that, man. Not that. I buy it. I'll do my research first, and I'll buy it. If it works for me, I don't care about the numbers. I don't care about like nothing, man. So the uh, the mini. It has a, um, I think, uh, they say 20 decibel. I, I, I don't know, something. But all that I know from what I heard, 
it sound a little louder than the factory one the, the little one and this one if you buy this you have to buy the uh, the wire separately unless you have some kind of electrical you know knowledge if you do have some kind of electrical knowledge that's fine but if you don't just go ahead i think the, the, the cable is uh 36 dollars or something like that it's uh, this is not even expensive guys it's uh it's very cheap it's not expensive i think uh 67 you know and then you buy the cable uh, and the cable will come with a, a relay uh because it's connected directly to my battery and then the relay helps it help helps it step it down so it doesn't cause any kind of damage to my secretary so um yeah but when you buy the uh, the sunbound itself it comes with a uh, relay so i think i have two relays in the house right now because the, the cable came in one relay and that's the same relay that i have the one that went bad that's the same one that i have on this so um um, if you guys any any of you guys want a relay or anything like that, I believe I have two Just just leave a comment down below. Let me know. I can I can mail it to you Only in the 50 state. Okay, I, 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 I don't think um, I'm big enough for people, you know to know me I'm, I don't make any money off of YouTube or anything like that, you know, I just love you guys man so if you live within the um, the 50 state um, I don't know yeah even Hawaii or Alaska yeah just leave a comment down below and I can mail you the relay uh, yeah I, I really don't care you know I love you guys man um, so yeah that is only you want to do your own wiring and it's very simple they have the diagram on their website so if you have that knowledge um, you can do it if I can do it trust me you can do it so if you think you're gonna buy one but then um because that's an extra 36 dollars so if you think you can do the wiring just leave me a comment down below the dm me whatever and i'll take your information and i'll mail it to you i'll mail you the uh, the relay so you don't have to buy the whole six uh 36 dollars that's before taxes so after taxes you're probably gonna be paying like 40 bucks or something like that i'll save you that money i'll take care of the uh you know the mailing and everything for you okay but i suggest everybody needs this air horn if it's not the same just get something you know because i didn't look at my bike how dark it is you know the only thing i, I can I, I can have these guys to see me is um my little um the stripes on this helmet and then if I want to use the horn on top of that I have a little um, stripes on the um, on my jacket as well you know it's a little uh, reflectors on the uh, on, under my jacket I don't know how well you know you guys can see it but you know the back uh, the, the bike is extremely black and uh, you know if you're riding at this time of the day or night you cannot be seen at all you know so this actually helps me to be seen you know so or to be heard so yeah if you need it just let me know I'll mail it to you for free no charge and uh, you got you, you can use it but even if, if you don't want it just get something similar because one day trust me it, it, it can save your life man it can save your life so thank you so much for uh, joining me on this episode I, I didn't intend to make any of this video at night like this uh, it just happened to you know I just finished cutting my grass and uh, I had a few things going on you know so I say man let me go ahead I look at my time I say man I, I can make this video not knowing that uh, the times have changed you know summer is gone so now we have a uh, short days and long nights um, so but uh, again it gives me the opportunity to try out this uh, night night mode or whatever you guys would call it 
um, I'm really not worried about that because all these cameras have a very small sensors, you know, and in order for you to uh, get them to work very well, you just need to feed them with light, period. As a matter of fact, any camera, it doesn't matter what kind of camera, you can you, you can be using the RED or every Alexa. If uh, you're shooting in low light and you don't have enough light, that thing is going to look crappy, period. It doesn't matter what kind of camera it is. It doesn't matter. So I don't expect uh, magic from this camera, you know, because if I want to shoot at night, uh, I know what I can do to, you know, to, to make it work. But uh, I'm not going to be shooting at night, so it really don't bother me. But it, at least it gives me the chance to just get to know how, you know, it looks like at night. So, but I'm here at at and I'm gonna grab me some phones, the iPhone 16. I'm gonna grab a few of them for specific reasons, you know. So, I'm gonna share this with you guys uh, with my unboxing because my 12 is extremely way overdue for upgrade. So, I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, once I pick that up, okay? So, I'm gonna leave you guys here in peace. Just go out there and spread some love, spread some positivities, put a smile on somebody's face because at the end of the day, it's free to do so. Just be kind, man. The world is this. You guys remember 2019, 2020? You, you guys remember what, what was going on in the world, you know? So, just just try to put, put a smile on somebody's face, okay? Put a smile on somebody's face. I will try to put a smile on your faces. Although I'm not that funny, I can make some funny videos. Because I'm an actor, I can definitely do it, but that's not what this channel is all about. So try to put a smile on somebody's face, stay out there, be positive. And uh, just God bless you. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.